This is it guys. This is where it all comes together. We're going to pull this weather stripping. That's going to allow the resin to flow and coat those faces. And that's what gives it that natural stone appearance. So I'm going to start on this front edge so you can guys get a perfect look at this. Pulling it down at an angle. And then this resin is going to slowly start dripping over. What's up YouTube, I'm Tyler with Ligari Products. Today I'm gonna to show you the easiest countertop kit on the market to install, hands down. We're simply gonna be pouring out of a container and we're gonna create a natural stone look just by doing that. That's all it takes, guys. If you guys want to order a countertop kit, you can head to Ligari.com. This is going to be kit number 28. If you guys want a custom kit, we also have those available where you can choose any color you want and create some awesome countertops. So I think we might have lost the audio guys, this stuff happens, we've got a lot of moving parts here. I'm going to bring you up to speed where we are just in case that happens. So what we did is we started out dumping out buckets randomly. I'm always taking note of what colors are coming out. You can see we have gold kind of separated all throughout the counters. I don't just have a bunch of gold in one section of the counter, it's all throughout. I have a red color all throughout, so I'm always taking note of what colors are dumping out. Next thing is notice. We're not really pouring beads right next to other beads. I'm always trying to fill in the middle of the gaps because the resin is thick when you pour it out. And then once it levels out, it spreads out a lot, right? So I don't want to pour a fat bead right here. I want to do it in the middle so it levels out and starts to fill in all these open spots. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, and it's going to be real crucial when we get to our last bucket of just really fine tuning and filling in all the, the empty spots. And we have, we have two full buckets. Um, we got a lot of this counter filled. After this next bucket, it's gonna be pretty much filled up and it'll go and fine tune. Um, and you'll notice we've been adding Ligari effects to the buckets as I'm pouring it out. We've been adding the spray paint colors um, as we're pouring it out, depending on how much color we want. If you want more color, keep adding it. If you don't want a lot of color, don't add as much color. You can't take the color out, but we can always add more color. So we're gonna get this thing finished up.
All right, guys, we got the last bucket. Before we show you how beautiful these countertops are gonna turn out, the number one thing you gotta do is make sure you mix the resin correctly. You can have the most beautiful countertops ever, and then come back the next day and you have soft spots, sticky spots, and it's just an absolute nightmare. So we're gonna show you how to prevent that coming right up. Let's get to it. I'll kind of run through what we're using, the, the material supplies you're gonna need, and then I'll show you our 3P2 process, and then we'll get right into it. So first thing that you're gonna need is obviously your products. We have the products here. We got our spray paints, we got our Ligari effects, we got our epoxy pigment. We will be using some of our epoxy accelerator. We re recommend this only for experienced users. It does take away your working time. Uh, the product won't sit in a bucket as long, so if this is your first time or you're not familiar with resins, we do not recommend adding accelerator into your countertop kits. Um, <clears throat> next thing we have six two and a half quart mixing containers, uh, one gallon paint stick, two five gallon buckets, one five gallon paint stick, and then for our spray paints, we're gonna be spraying the red spray paint into our cups to get that red liquid. It's real simple, 3P2. What it stands for is we're gonna mix, we're gonna dump the resin in the bucket, A and B, we're gonna go up and down three times, then we're gonna pour into a secondary mixing container, that's P, and then we're gonna go up and down two more times. So three, up and down, P stands for pour, and then up and down two more times in that secondary mixing container. Um, that'll ensure you guys don't have any soft spots on your project. All right, now that you guys know how to mix like a pro and not have any issues with resin setting up, we're gonna finish this countertop out and show you how beautiful it's gonna turn out. Last bucket, it's mainly black, which is cool. I'm gonna fill in a lot of this. I wanna have just some solid black colors. I think the, the gold, the red, we have a, a good even amount everywhere. Um, and so I'm just gonna start filling in all these other colors and we're pretty much done with adding the gold effects and that red. But again, that's up to you guys. If you want more of those colors, you keep adding them. That's what's cool about these kits. All right, so we got all the buckets dumped out. Now I'm gonna go around and fine tune any spots. So we have surface tension here. You can see how thick the resin is, but since the primer's there and it's, it's sticky, it's not letting the resin flow in. So I'm gonna just pat that around a little bit, slick that off, and then it'll fill in. Look at how it just levels right out. So now, <clears throat> if you guys wanna disperse it, I'll show you what it does. I don't wanna hit the whole thing. Um, we're gonna spray 91% isopropyl alcohol and that's gonna create the cells and stuff, but I don't wanna hit these gold veins. I wanna keep those solid. So I'm gonna go around and just hit a couple spots and you'll see what it does. If you wanna do that over the whole thing, you can. We're only gonna hit some random spots. So let's start back here.
All right, so before I spray the denatured alcohol, comment below, let me know if you guys like the, the dispersing effect in the red with those cells that we got from the isopropyl, or if you like it where I didn't hit it. Some of these might dissipate when I hit denatured on it, but the red cells will not. So comment below, let, it, let us know if you like the dispersing effect or if you would have rather not seen it on this countertop. After you spray the isopropyl alcohol, you wanna let it evaporate for five, 10 minutes max, and then we're gonna spray denatured alcohol. Denatured, we're gonna miss the surface. That's gonna pop all the micro bubbles and create a glass smooth finish on top without torching, without chopping your resin. We don't have to do any of the stuff that you typically do with other resins because we have a superior resin that has additives that allow bubbles to rise to the surface and pop. I'm gonna let this evaporate for a little bit and then I'm gonna mist it again. That's gonna get rid of any micro bubbles that are in there. And that again creates that glass smooth finish. Next step, once that's done, is we're gonna wait for this to set up a little bit and we're gonna pull our weather stripping and get these edges coated. All right guys, so this is what I'm talking about. Once we pull that tape, look at how it just flows over the edge and creates that natural look. We got veins coming down at angles. This is coming down at an angle from the top. And so once we get a decent amount flowing over that face, we just rub it in, right? We wanna get rid of any surface tension, any gaps in the epoxy and the primer, and then it's gonna let it flow over nice and evenly. And this is why our edges turn out beautiful every time. And that's how you get like this vein's coming over, typically you'd have them come straight down, but this one's at an angle. And you would see that in, in natural stone that gets cut into slabs of countertops. You'll get veins coming down at angles, and this is the only way you can do that, by doing this process to get those to flow over instead of just straight down. So check it out, <clears throat> got the edges all done. I scraped the drips, they're still gonna drip a little, but like I was telling you before, we got these veins coming down the face. Look at the red right here, that red spray paint coming down at an angle, right? It's not coming straight down, so it gives you that natural look. I mean, look at all this right here. Just absolutely stunning. All these veins are coming down at an angle. Nice Ligari effects gold. Look at the angle on that guy, beautiful.